Hi everybody, welcome to my art journal. Happy Monday! Let's draw the circle of life. Uh, it's February, I'm still focusing on colored pencils and I thought this would be the perfect medium to have a sketchy kind of a art journal page that, is, that could easily be a page from a sketchbook rather than, um, let's say, an art journal. Um, there's just some well, unfinished roughness that I uh, wanted to have in that page and it, it worked very well with the medium that I'm focusing on this month. But let's get uh, started into what I do here. So first of all, I'm sketching out um, the flowers there. Now, the circle of life reminds everybody probably of the Lion King, but I wanted to have it on a flower. Now, a flower, um, there's a seed in the beginning and then it grows and then eventually uh, it, it, it blooms. There's lovely blossom usually. And then it uh, dries out, dies down and um, you start all over again. Now I did choose a sunflower because there is a seed in the beginning and there is a seed in the end. So uh, also, well, the sunflowers are my favorite flowers. <laughs> so I had to, of course, choose that particular plant to have the circle of life there. Now, another thing that worked pretty nice with the sunflower is that I have five stages uh, that I'm depicting here. So it's um, it's an odd number, which is always uh, more harmonic and more pleasing to the eye if you look at something and it, it has objects in an odd number. So I did um, only uh, add five stages of the sunflower's lives life on, on purpose. Now, why why did I do um, the circle of life? Well, these weeks, um, like mid-January to mid-March, we do have a lot of, um, well, birthdays and anniversaries in my family. So uh, there there's pretty much from every stage in a human's life, so uh, it's way more obvious than that, since it is so crammed together in that short period of time, that there really is a circle of life. Uh, and when you uh, transfer that to human life, there is birthdays, there's uh, dating anniversaries, there's um, anniversaries of people passing away. And uh, it was particularly obvious that week because we had the dating anniversary we had um the uh birthday of my dad and we had the passing away anniversary of my uh husband's grandpa so it was all in the range of four days and that pretty much made me thinking about the circle of life and just the way of life and how things go and how every stage has a very beautiful uh, core, though maybe horrible things happen. Maybe it's uh, like, for example, passing away isn't easy and uh, there might be pain. Uh, there is, of course, pain for the people that stay behind, but that's a part of life and that um, is just one tiny bit in that circle of life. So it made me think in a lot about that subject, about lifespan, about um, that no matter how shitty parts of life can be, there's always some beautiful core to it. So that's why I um, took that <laughs> sunflower theme here to just remind myself um, when I look back through that art journal in, I don't know, when, a few years time or something, that at this point in my life, I've thought about that a lot and it, it made me make an art journal page about that. So 
Coming back to the technical things of this painting, I sketched out everything and then I uh, colored all of the pieces with a uh, colored pencil. I'm not going to use a uh, paint thinner this time. I want this page to look kind of rough, unfinished, uh, sketchy, uh, textured, so I cannot go in with paint thinner and blend everything out. I'm blending with the different kinds of colors that I'm using by layering them and burnishing a bit. I do have uh, a bit of blending going on and smoothing things out, but I'm trying to stay pretty, pretty rough here and kind of raw and unfinished. So I did choose pretty warm colors. There's a lot of uh, light ochre and yellows, of course, but also with the browns and the grays and the greens, I stayed with warm tones. So there's quite a bit of yellow in that green and not really a lot of blue. It's, it's more of an olive green there. And uh, I stayed that way to, again, make it look harmonic and not uh, setting one thing apart from the other. But also because this is a very, well, that sounds so silly, but it's, it's like a warm subject to me. I'm one of these people that is uh, not having any problems with aging. I actually like aging because to me that means that you do have more experience and experiences and, and just things that you did in your life, goals that are uh, completed, things that are checked off your bucket list, stuff like that. So I'm one of those people that is not afraid of aging, that actually looks forward to aging and that is not afraid of uh, dying because, well, it's just one thing in life. I mean, there's uh, things that are unknown do usually scare people but uh, I think uh, trusting is a great thing here that's that's definitely an area where trust is really really cool and I'm just trusting I'm not believing in afterlife or anything I'm just trusting that um, it's all cool so uh, I that that has kind of a warm feeling in my body and soul so that's why I chose the warm colors here. Now once I had that sketch finished I just uh, wrote down the quote or the name of the page, gave it a frame and that's that. It's very simple again it's one of those pages that has a very deep story and thus, I do stay very light on the technical part of drawing slash painting here. I hope you enjoyed watching along. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. There's lots of close-up photos on the blog post for this uh, uh, page here. Just hop onto my web page. It's in the description bar below. I will see you tomorrow with another Tiny Tuesday and next Monday with a new art journal. Have fun, take good care, do all the good YouTube stuff and have a lovely day. Bye!